The purpose of the is to bring mercy and compassion and comfort to people as they suffer in crisis and disasters. Uh, go out to hospitals, nursing homes, funerals, uh, serve military and veterans and uh, police officers' families. So when there's a shooting of a police officer, uh, if we're invited in, we go to the be with the family for the funeral and the wake. Wherever there's a need of people uh, suffering. We were just out in Las Vegas for the shootings that were out there for two weeks with the dogs. And we have a dog that's permanently out there that's serving that community. We're in the hospitals, coroner's office, first responders, families, victims uh, out there. And uh, Sandy Hook, uh, Dallas, Baton Rouge, you name it, wherever they've been. We will, wherever there's people that want to pet dogs and uh, uh, want to be able to talk about what they've gone through. So we're here to listen, we're here to pray with people if they want us to, and uh, just hug them. And uh, if they cry, we cry with them. There is something magical about the dogs that, uh, particularly well-trained dogs like these, that when people pet a dog, medically it lowers their blood pressure and they relax. And when they relax, they're more apt to talk about what they've gone through. And dogs are good listeners. They're confidential. They're non-judgmental. Uh, they don't take notes. And so they're safe to talk to. And many people initially will talk to the dog before they talk to a human. We started this in August of 2008, and I've seen it every day since then. Uh, just the magic of the dogs. It's the beauty of God working through these dogs. And they have a, dogs have a sixth sense of knowing when people are hurting. And I think that's, that's a key part of it also. And they'll sometimes lead us to somebody that they know is really hurting.